Dream Records Music. Kara Pee Pee yeah. <laughs> Big up on yourself again for the rejoining the vlog as promised I told you all I would be doing a full restoration on this car and the first step is the whole radiator change so you know very crucial that the radiator has changed because I know it's overheating issue no nice you see me so that is what I'm going to be doing today Big up again, thanks y'all. You know, thank you all for joining, you know, for sticking through, for liking, for sharing, for subscribing and all of that is me. Big up on yourself, is me. And if you're wondering why I look so beat out and tired already, it's because I was working on my wife's car prior to making this intro. So again, so this video is basically just to help persons who you know probably buy one of these. I can't change your radiator. So, you're welcome. peeps so as you can see she is gunky mess see pre so this is what I was talking about in the full amok wish me could on angle the camera one certain way so I could not see it clear but I can't zimmy with it you know and I can see just from the top say full amok I'm up on the car zimmy has to go transmission you don't have to remove those after remove the you don't see now the two holes them so two holes are connected to the transmission after the two holes are connected to the the um the engine So after removing the radiator, so now I'm gonna flush the engine. We can get some good footage. Right? Yeah. Alright, so when I'm flushing the engine, what I do, I do two things. One, when I was inside here, I'm flush basically all of the water, all of the gunk out of it. And then blowing at the engine. Yeah, hopefully, I don't know if nobody else knows this trick. Yeah. Blowing at the engine so all of the water or most of the water gets ejected from it. So more sure no me attack. Yeah. 
Alright, so here we go. Water hose. Alright, check out the color of the water. Flush again with the hose. One more time. Yeah. So I run into an issue. So while removing the holes from the bucket here, as you can see, right there, the holes on the bucket the intake was so corroded and rotted, it just broke off. Basically, it go happen anyway, but now it's broken. And here it is. Rotten. So, it's a major problem, but not so major. So, now we pull out the water clear. Can I get this thing to focus? Yeah, so. Yeah, so now the color of the water clear. Alright, so, peeps, after the flushing is completed. Mm -hmm. My voice ever in the background. Um, next, radiator, fresh hose. I remember if I mentioned that I'll be putting in some silicone hose. Removing all of these regular holes from it, see me? so all of them finally I get replaced. You know, silicone holes are reinforced, so they are longer lasting, stronger, under pressure. Yeah, so reinstallment. So, um, just in case, me never mentioned before, once you put in the radiator, remember you have to remove the fan and put it back on this. And then they do all of the reconnections with the hose and such.
Dance Music. Alright, so peeps, if you want to differentiate automatic from manual, see? The automatic radiator always comes with these two feeds for the transmission. See? Always remember that. Now I don't know if it's necessary, but I know that I I do it. Um so for these feed for the transmission I read. Let's put the car. I didn't call this now. Tread tape. Over it just with some extra security coming. I like not a leak after me don't fit up the car. You get me? You don't have to do it but I do it. So install fun off camera. It isn't hard. 14 bolt. 1, 2, and 2 down at the base height. As you know, we install the fun so now put it back in the care. Alright, so besides all that rottenness, so these are my old hose. Old hose. Alright guys, get ready here. Old hose. The only cause problem in your life. These are new ones. G plus. Sell these by the way. Pick me up if you want. So just for reference purposes. See? New one, old one, old one, new one. Just so you know what it look like. Okay. New one, old one. New one, old one. So, for those who don't realize what happened earlier, see this piece missing. So, now for we'll find out if we block this off for the time being, get rid of it. Mechanical wife, move now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> So, the other try to figure out how to go, um, match up that broke half by business. Eh? What's your suggestion, babe? Oh, silly. Silly? Yeah. <laughs> what? Unless you go get one fine hose and put in a. Alright, bung up your Bung up your water. I'll try to get bung up your water. Go up. Bung up your water. Go. Go flow somewhere else. Or. What am I going to do? I'm going to tell you. So see how big you put one. You can't fit in this. And you can also fit in the one. You need to try to connect it to. Problem solved. Uh -uh. You're going to push out it. Really? Yeah. That's why I'm going to make you it, it go over here. You're sitting and then you clamp it down. You're going to uh, drop a shy wall. Why we force you out? We force you out. You know that? Bro? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. So as luck would have it, I don't know if I look good fortune. Uh, I just I don't know. Overall, I did people. I got me one. Big up yourself. Catch. You see me. Gee, that for a long time. If you know who is Catch. I'm on the one of the pioneers for clean care. You see me. But yo, again in a dog. Big up yourself. So people. This are the hose right now for the other one. You see me. Usage of water in your car instead of coolant. Right now, the whole entire engine, everything where you come in contact with, you shake up. So, stick to the coolant if you don't know, avoid them problem. Yeah, so, run into some issues. Pretty simple. Um, I could not fix the issue I was having so you don't know when in doubt link your mechanic is me so I brought the car here simple one to him with the mats make it happen I'm sure no dream racer Yeah, so remember that hose, well not the hose, the pipe, the rotten, you see me. So, no fixed, no leakage, which was the major, the major issue. Everything else sort out. So I just button up and tighten up with everything else and we go to the music. Yo, we've reached the end of the vlog, peeps, we don't know. Big enough like, share, subscribe, all of the support that I have gotten over the you know a couple of months I've been on YouTube. I'm big enough, you see me. Yeah. And for everyone that asks a question on my IG store if my heat gauge is working, yes it does work. What y'all are seeing are result of uh, my newly installed radiator. That's, that's the temperature that's going to operate at going forward. I prefer it this way, you know what I mean, uh, overheating. But yeah, the heat gauge works. You see me? Don't worry on yourself. So again, I don't know, I'm big enough. Big up, big up, big up. Every time, with the support. I don't know, I'm hoping to learn something from this vlog. You can always ask questions down in the comments. Big up on yourself again, you don't know. So it's franchise. We out.